Hello world, it's me, Dr. Reins, and today we're going to be talking about the newest update for Skullgirls Mobile. It's Skullgirls Mobile update uh, 4.10, I believe. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's just get right into it because I'm really, really busy. <laughs> Alright, so this new update introduces three new fighters. First of all, it's Vector Protector, a Rogue Fortune that I believe will um, get armor every time that you use a special move and those stacks of armor will will convert into miasma every time you use a super or a blockbuster whatever you want to call them at least that's my that's my prediction uh, next fighter it's blitz and glamour cerebella a light fighter which i believe will in no will gain regen and immunity for an indefinite amount of time if she has no living teammates and once she drops below 40% health. She will also inflict the opponent with once she knocks an opponent into the air. Much like wet work. A reverse portal polarity and armor break if the opponent has no living teammates. At least that's what I believe. And for our last one we have uh, definitely not Philia. Hello world, it's me, Dr. Rhines. Uh, today is update day, so let's just get right into it. Apologies if I'm looking a little bit worn down. It's been a long day and I, uh, the game has finally updated and I can finally begin. Alright, so first things... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and hit the play button and check the... Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and check the new variant, the newer variant. Uh, let's go into collection and then into the catalog. We have... Uh, who were they? Uh, it was either Philly or Fuqua. Then it was... Robo Fortune, and then we also have Cerebella. It's green. No, <laughs> that wouldn't be such a good idea. All right, so let's start with. Uh, well, on the opponent side of the stage, Cerebella has a 15% chance on hit to inflict in burst bloodily and number rate for five seconds each. After 10 seconds, when her side of the stage, Cerebella moves all the buffs from herself and gains immunity and regen. These debuffs are removed when knocked down. So. A little more of a, a little more complicated than than I initially thought. Uh, still, uh, reverse polarity and armor break are two very powerful debuffs, and combined together, then the, they combined together, they don't really have much synergy. But still, they're they are two very premium debuffs. So I still think that Blitz and Glamour is gonna be really really strong uh next three seconds and seconds probably gonna be every five seconds one while on her side of the stage you gain immunity and regen um i would say that it's not too much of an issue for no 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 i'm not so sure because <laughs> i don't really play riffs but uh she seems very strong so you might want to avoid having having her on her side of the stage so that she doesn't gain, you know, regen or immunity. Right, let's go next one, which is Robo Fortune. And Vector Protector. Gain armor for five seconds. When either fighter uses special move. When either fighter. Right, that is <laughs> that is pretty good. It's not like insanely broken or anything because number one she's uh an air fighter and then number two she's she's a silver so it's not the end of the world but but still she's gonna be i predict that she's gonna be a very safe attacker if anything and let's go ahead and see who was the oh never mind it's fuqua infernal twin but even stronger dream demon inflict Permanent death mark and gain in rage every 25 seconds while facing the same opponent. Wow. 50% 50, 50 chance for focus attached to be unblockable if the opponent is suffering from death mark. Oh wow. That is. That seems a little bit too strong. Murderous intentions. Not too strong, but uh. Hey, what the hell? 
Oh no, we are nerfing Lops of Law because it's very abusable. <laughs> We're gonna give Fuqua another unblockable. Uh, right, never mind. Never mind about that. No comment, next question, no comment, no comment, refuse to comment, next question, next question, anyone else, next question, no comment. We now have new currency in the form of skill points because there is a new tab in the cabinet of, of curiosities that will let you spend skill points to get oh that will let you spend skill points of any character to get special move blockbusters fighters I don't know relics fighters even gold fighters of the same character so that's pretty pretty neat if you see stuff from one character let's say philia you will have to spend skill points for philia uh same thing for everyone else you see uh something for parcel then it's gonna cost uh parcel skill points up next is the the new tab in the cabinet of, of curiosities we have trinkets we have treasures and now we have tributes yeah kind of interesting that they all start with t so let's see uh third of limit check if i have anything that i want here no all right let's check tributes we have a rerun uh everything is horrible <laughs> i was expecting uh i was expecting a not diamond a gold character or something at least a silver one look at this <laughs> oh my god do i buy a rerun <laughs> rerun uh okay yeah sure i have 4,000 peacock skill points, so okay. Rerun, rerun what? Uh, character price phase now include a new milestone reward, which features the character for that specific uh, that specific price fight. Now the character is no longer available as a reward for the for scoring in the top 10%. Instead, you will get character relics for that character, obviously. Uh, let's just see. How many you're gonna get? I'm guessing at, <laughs> at most three. So now we gotta check the new price fight reward thing. First of all, we have Seasons Beatings, the newest price fight. Uh, that is gonna be. Oh wow. That is gonna be. Holy moly. <laughs> the new price. The new seasonal price fight that is gonna be uh, from today all the way until the end of January. Not only that, but also. Every month we're gonna have a seasonal, a season themed price fight per se, and a holiday themed price fight. I don't, I don't really know how to, how to describe this, but uh, yeah, that's something new. And every, every single one of those is gonna last the, the whole month. So that's something to look forward to, something to, to work towards, I guess. And let's see the event rewards. Trash, trash. That is very, that is very good. Uh, top ten percent. Oh, wow. Top <laughs> A thousand! Okay, this is what I was talking about! Rank 1 to a thousand. Not only is this like really, really good, but it's also something that I really wanted. I felt like having the ranks all only from 1 to, to 10, it's really... It's a little bit tougher, I guess. Uh, but yeah, having, having them from 1 to a thousand may seem like... Oh no, it's too easy, but uh, you also gotta take in mind that there's a lot of players and most of the player base is already at uh, Diamond ranks, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's see. There she is! Thir only thir 30 million! That is not that is not so bad, actually. Consider especially considering that you need like 80 million for, <laughs> for this little monkey right here. But let's see the event rewards. I predicted that it's gonna be like one character relic at the very bottom and three at the very top. So let's just hope I'm mistaken. Uh, nothing, nothing. Oh wow, two, two of them at the at the lowest tier. <laughs> two of them, three for top ten percent. Ah, wow, only three. <laughs> everything, everything else remains the same. But uh, you get. Ah, oh, did the coins also change? I think they did. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, that is, there's a pretty hefty... Well, probably not 
very noticeable, but uh, yeah, you basically you are basically gonna get one gold character and three bronze characters. And now I know that that means I know that the I know that that I know that that may not seem like such a big deal, but uh, they're also not guaranteed bronzes, so you probably can get really really lucky and you know pull off silver or something. <laughs> and now. With the prestige and the uh, free skill points, I believe that even bronze characters are a welcome side in this time. So what else are we missing? I guess the spotlight relics, but uh, I cannot find them anywhere. Uh, they, they, they are definitely a welcome change, but uh, I also believe that at the at the end of the day, it's uh, a change made more in the developer's sake, per se. Uh, reason being is because recently the the jackpot, the jackpot, the seasonal jackpot relics were kind of nerfed, and you know, after that they introduced this deal, the spotlight relics, and you know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know, if, I I really don't want to get into it because. The community really loves the the development the developer team and you know I don't wanna be the bad guy or whatever. Well, I certainly love to be the bad guy, but uh, not like this. <laughs> Let's just say that. Also, I can almost guarantee you that in the future we're gonna hit, we're gonna have a spotlight relic offering Necrobreaker, Ome, and uh, inner pieces. Mark my freaking words. Yeah, this is more like it. Uh, fighter adjustments. First we have Eliza the Crypted. Or the Crypt. Whatever. So, they basically made her from a DPS sort of character into a... No, a DPS bronze that, you know, it's obviously not very good. <laughs> into a bronze character that sort of deals damage, but you'll be using mostly because of her utility. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to. We'll have to see how her utility works. Her how she works versus buffer lane fighters. Uh, I'm guessing you can use her in rifts now, uh, but still, I still believe that she's horrible. Uh, she now became a little less horrible. Let's just... I don't know. So... I guess that's cool, I guess? I don't know. Okay. Next one, rough copy. <laughs> Not to be confused with Robo copy. Alright, she is Fuqua and now she gains permanent haste after facing an opponent with the same element for 5 seconds. After facing them for 5 seconds, she gains permanent haste. That's a more. Uh, a better description, I guess. And teammates inflict permanent slow after facing an opponent of the same character type for 5 seconds. Uh, I'm kind of worried because now she says any teammate instead of uh, uh, the team or something. I believe the wording has changed, but uh, I hope that her abilities also affect herself. Yeah, permanent case is really good, permanent slow, it's not so good, but it's also not completely horrible, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Also. You gotta wonder, does permanent does, does the permanent slow stack? Because if it does, it's gonna be amazing, but if it doesn't, it's gonna be, you know, not bad, but, uh, you know, you could be doing way better. Also, is it permanent in the same way that it was before? Meaning that once the opponent tacks out, or you get tacked out, or, um, you know, they're not really permanent per se, but uh, they cannot be removed by conventional means, I, I think. I believe she may not be the worst bronze, the worst character in the whole game anymore. 
but uh yeah it all depends this 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 it all depends does her ability work with work with herself or does she not benefit at all i'm gonna test that actually so yeah confirm it does work with herself and they are not mutually exclusive uh even though they should <laughs> I know, it's low does not stack, so... Still, I believe she is not longer the worst character. So, for last bronze character that got buffed, we have... Valentine Scrub. Finally! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, I, I swear to god I'm not autistic. But uh, yeah, now whenever she tacks out, every teammate will give now, whenever she tacks out, every teammate will recover 50% health. It's definitely better than what she had before, but still, she, she's gonna suck big time. Alright, let's move on to the silver ones. So, first we have Squiggly Dead Heat. Uh, I struggle to call this uh, a buff, because her ability was changed in a way that she no longer even feels like the same character. Oh, it's not even... Oh, wow, it's not even blockbusters anymore. Only special moves. Oh, my goodness. Never mind, it's a nerf. Go to hell, Lab Zero, or whatever your name is. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually speechless. I didn't notice that it was only special moves now. Uh... Alright, let, let's just go ahead and move on, uh, gotta, keep an, gotta keep an open mind and all that, but uh, not too keen on this change, let's just say that. We also, now this is what you can call a buff, Blood Drive Pinwheel has a higher chance on hit to inflict bleed on yourself and heavy bleed on the opponent, went from 5% to 50% now I think, and now, here requirement to gain in to convert your bleeds into an range has been changed from only blockbusters to either special moves or blockbusters but i do believe that her enrage duration was lowered so take this uh buff or, or change or improvement or adjustment more like with a little grain of salt she is still gonna suck, by the way, because Ping will <laughs> not only Ping will already die in like two or three, two or three blocked hits, but uh, when you're actively depleting your own HP at a, such a higher rate, then you know that's not too good. <laughs> right, I saved the best for last, or the worst, depending on what you ask. Right, his first signature ability remains the same but his second one oh my goodness the second one when hit while above 50 percent health reflect a percentage of the incoming damage futile resistance anyone oh my god <laughs> huh expect to see this bad boy will mama be your land race with all her heart and joy and and sweat and blood and tears and whatever expect to see him flagging reef battles <laughs> another valentine got buff this time for gold right anyway pyrotechnique before Pyrotechnique only had a chance to inflict Wither with her charge attacks, but now not only her blockbusters, but also her special moves. And it's a chance on hit, so multiple hitting special moves and blockbusters such as all of her projectile ones will almost guarantee that you get at least one stack of, of Wither. Wither? Wither? I don't know. One stack of, of that thing. They also changed the way her signature ability number 2 works. Not only that, but they also changed it completely. Now she has a chance to gain Enrage when hitting the opponent if the opponent is suffering from Wither. 
not only this makes it work as intended because before uh, it was gaining rage when hitting an opponent with a fully depleted blockbuster and usually you will achieve that by using her uh what's it called the thing with biohazard bio biohazard a and you know shooting it it's currently glitched and it drains all the all the opponent's meter for like a good three seconds not only that but now it doesn't matter if the opponent has like a, um, a full charge blockbuster or not, as long as they're suffering from wither, you will have a chance to get enrage just by healing them. Next up is Terror Bite. Her signature build number one remains the same, I believe, but her number two now triggers unblocked hits. Not only that, but her debuffs now last a whole lot longer. So that's especially useful for reverse polarity. Polarity? I'd say the best for last because Freedom Fighter now fully embraces his role as a defensive character and now he will get armor break. No, he will, <laughs> he will inflict armor break and gain auto block when hit. It doesn't matter how, just as long as he is getting hit. This ability even triggers unblocked hits. He might even become Model Leader's little brother. But don't worry, it's not gonna, he's not gonna be as strong as Model Leader because uh, Annie's Marque ability, it's a flat defense increase and Beowulf doesn't have anything like that. So even if you have him with like a 50% defense, defense bonus, bonus, it's not gonna be the end of the world or anything because you have piercing and you know you can obviously out damage him but yeah be very careful be very careful when trying to use uh, special moves and blockbusters in your strings against this guy and finally four diamonds that got change in this case completely buff <laughs> completely buff there's nothing to debate here they up uh, they they a hundred percent got uh, better with the update so first we have wind stalker she is misfortune and now instead of simply making your opponent lose blockbuster meter now she drains it this changing wording makes it it's really simple to grasp to grasp instead of you know your opponent not only is your opponent gonna be losing constant meter, but you will also get all of the meter that they lose. And I do believe your meter gain will get further increased if you equip her with meter gain. But again, she is misfortune and she can do whatever misfortune does, so I don't I don't even think that meter gain is even needed on a misfortune because misfortune is misfortune and she can go to hell. Alright, I just looked at her, <laughs> at her here and what the hell is going on? It even moves, look at this. Oh my god, that's serious. <laughs> at least in my opinion, you you can... Uh, we can agree to disagree on that. Anyway, now Mommy Dearest got another buff. She might even begin to be like really really good. Probably not like top tier or anything, but uh, nonetheless, completely bonkers. I do believe her meter gain got a little bit nerfed or a little bit lowered, but now using a special move will only sacrifice 10% of your max health and you will get heavy regen for a longer duration. And also, now whenever you enter segment mode, you will not only gain your usual blessing but you will also gain immunity immunity on elisa without the need to be tagging in and out like a madman that is <laughs> as i said she might she might even become like the dreadlocks killer or or something like that no reflect <laughs> no reflect damage can stand in her way now and now what i consider to be the the biggest deal of the update. Oh shit, <laughs> where do I put my fingers? Yeah, what I consider to be the <laughs> the biggest issue or the biggest thing of the of the update is the fact that 
Lobs of Lob are no longer unblockable at close range. Because, in their words, it's an abusable loop. Yeah, it's not like <laughs> it's not like we can do pretty much the same thing with Wolf Shoot and Merry Go Relapse. And even Annie just being freaking amazing and having insane meter gain and looping you in blockbuster level trees for, for days. Yeah, no, no, no. Those things are completely balanced. It's lots of love that, that are completely broken and don't deserve to be in the game. So, another change that I'm really glad that they implemented is the fact that the fighter taps the, the fighter, the maximum fighter capacity has been increased from 700 to 1000. Those are 300 more fighters that you can get for whatever reason. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a good change in my book at least. It costs 100 for 10 spots, so if you want to get all 300 in a single go, then you're gonna need 1000, 2000, 3000. 3000 Theonite for the 300 extra slots, extra slots. That is, unless the, the, the their cost goes higher, the more, the more space that you have. Also, the maximum move capacity has been increased from 1400 to 2000. 600 more special moves. This is the one that I was excited about. I don't really have that many special moves to begin with, that many good ones at least, but uh... More possibilities for hoarding are... Always welcome in my book. Let's see... Janine... This for that, it's gonna be... I believe 2400 if you need 400 per 100... Oh, if you need 400 Teonite for 100 uh, move capacity... And you need 600, it's gonna be 6 times 4, it's 24, 2400, I believe. <laughs> Hello, it's been so long since I've done max on the spot, please forgive me. Please forgive me, teacher, uh, physics teacher from high school, I always hated you. And for our last notable change, Prism Plumash or Pricing Plumash, whatever, the, the neutral element. Silver Peacock, uh, that is not so good, but people love her for whatever reason, because of her niche utility, has had her price reduced. Instead of the premium 560,000 coins that, <laughs> that, she used to, that she used to be worth, her price has been lowered to the standard Silver character, which is 260,000, I think. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> and that is pretty much it for the for this update. Uh, with one exception. We have to end on a high note with the ornamental relics. Out of this fighter, I don't want Hype Man or No Regrets. Everyone else, uh, I guess I'll, I'll take. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Open relics. 11 relics, 11 ornamental relics, free to play by the way, uh, open 10, I guess we shouldn't have done that. Vector Protector! And Glitz, Blitz and Glamour. Uh, not too good, not too bad, new, new fighter, new, new variant I guess. And yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. For the Frosted Diamond Relic. Each and every one of these fighters is completely amazing, except maybe Windstalker, but you will... You will... <laughs> even if she's not amazing, you will even want... You will... You... You... <laughs> even... Even when we all know she's not amazing, you will even want Windstalker because she'll change and, you know... It's always fun to be one of the first people to test things out. Uh, with that said, the only character that I don't want is, is the only character that I don't want is Tress Chick because I already have one. 
And I want a newer fighter, not a crappy older one. Uh, I guess I will get Salty too if I get Model Leader because I freaking hate Model Leader with every single one of my of my cells. But yeah, let's just open relics. Whew. Let's get right into it. Oh no, mommy! No, no! Who is it? It's Dress Chick! Oh, it's it's Model Leader! Oh my God! Why? Why do I have to get Model Leader? Why? Why Model Leader? Oh my God! I'm happy because she is freaking amazing, but I'm angry because I hate her. Where? Where is it? To find a mobile game with there's no playing cruise day, we're noob in your name. Where is it? Where is my diamond relic? Ah, uh, mommy dearest, Valentine Wedwork. Where is my model leader? Where? No, we are. Where are my pools? Oh no, I'm banned! Anyway, now that I care, um, get me out of here. I guess. Oh, let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Pressures. Yeah, give me that. Okay, tributes. Give me the torture relic. Okay, yeah, sure. I want this. No, I do not. Do I want this? No, I do not. Do I want this? No, I do not. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna be everything for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did, and I gotta see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao. This was Dr. Ryan's Blah 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 blah. Uh, subscribe. Happy holidays. Take care. Don't do drugs. If you do drugs, invite me. I I, I can't afford my own drugs. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. And enough blibbler or blabbling. I gotta edit this thing and hopefully get it out by tomorrow. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't probably know that because. All right, I'm too old for this. <laughs> ciao, ciao.